Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I know we are a bit behind, I apologize for that. I do want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to reach out as we are now open and booking for March and April. Keep in mind we book rather quickly, so just letting you guys know. All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance for the remaining of February 2021. As you guys can see here, these uh, three cards flew out twice, I may add. Um, so that's definitely a message coming through. Uh, let's uh, continue. Keep pushing forward so that we can uh, better get a clear insight into what's going on with you. All right, Leo, so we're going to start off here. The first card that popped out was the Sun card. The Sun card is a hidden blessing, and the reason I say hidden, it usually indicates blessings. It speaks about a relationship, unionship, partnership uh, that is blessed, that is being brought to you. Um, spirit is opening this portal for you to be able to give and receive love. Now, this can also represent your energy, uh, Leo. Obviously, the sun is a representation of Leo's energy. And I see you guys very confident. I see you guys very empowered, um, really knowing your worth, really knowing exactly what it is that you want or what you expect from a partner. Now, we also have here the king of swords. So you may be dealing with air energy. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini type of energy. Um but this can also represent how you're viewing the situation in regards to love and romance or how you're viewing your partner or the person of your interest. Now, with the Sun card and the King of Swords, I feel very strongly for some of you guys, this could represent knowing exactly what it is that you want in a partnership and not settling for anything less. And the reason I say that is because the next card that followed is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups does represent um, having options or being aware of the people that are interested in you, um, but not really being that intense or that passionate, that excited about the opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. And to be quite honest with you, uh, Leo, I love this energy for you because I feel that with the Sun card and the King of Swords, this is indicating like you've been through difficulties. You have gone through so many life lessons that at this point you are in control or you feel like you're in control of your life. Like things are unfolding in a very positive way. This could be that your career, that your finances, that uh, your health is booming right now or will be booming and you're feeling very much in like really feeling yourself. With the King of Swords, this is you not hesitating whatsoever to cut people out of your life that are not bringing to you the peace, the tranquility, the passion, the, the, the love, like anything that is not positive for you, you are not hesitating in removing yourself from those situations. So this is like the non BS type of card. And I love this energy for you with the four of cups. Like I said, I do see energies around you. I do see people trying to get your attention. This could be love interest, people that may be admirers, uh, suitors, uh, people that are really wanting to get close to you. But with the Four of Cups, there is a lack of passion here. And I feel that for Leos, when it comes to love and romance, if it's not intense and passionate, you're not interested. You know what I mean? Like they really have to rock your boat in order for you to be welcoming that energy. And, and, and the reason for that is because you guys are obviously a very intense and very passionate type of sign. Um, and I feel that if, like you don't try to force yourself. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, you may be dealing with a person that perhaps, um, you know, doesn't really inspire that much of passion, doesn't inspire that much of, desire um and if you are currently in a relationship i feel that the relationship itself could be very balanced but i feel that for some of you guys you could be missing someone from your past um someone that again like i said brings a lot of passion a lot of intensity to your life and i feel that at this present time you may feel like there's lack of that 
Let's see how your person or the person of your interest or person that's coming towards you, how they're viewing the situation, how they're viewing you, and what is going on with them. Spirits, please speak to me about the person, the target for the Leos. I love this energy for you, Leo, because what they're saying is, and, and this is even for those of you guys that are currently in like in a committed relationship where things are progressing, but something within you is almost feeling like, is this person really the one for me? Are, am I like trying to force myself to settle with them? And what the Spirit is telling you here with the Four of Cups is do not settle, Leo, if you feel like this is not what you want. Even if you have, if you feel like you have to question if this is the person for you, it's not for you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, don't water yourself down right now, Leo, because with the Sun card and the, the King of Swords, pay attention to what it is that you feel you deserve because that is exactly what's coming towards you. All right. Okay. Now we have here the five of cups. Okay, so could be, uh, like I said, a person that you are either thinking about or someone from your past. Five of cups can also represent um, a person from the past that is feeling like they missed out on you, like they um, allowed you to pretty much escape from their hands. Uh, this is like not being able to look at the future because they're dwelling on the past. They're dwelling on what was lost here. The next card here is the Princess of Wands. So it could represent a message communication coming in. Or having the desire to hear from you. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So for those of you guys that are in a relationship, I feel that the person that you're currently dealing with or the person that you're currently with uh, is definitely very aware um, that you're not wholeheartedly in this connection. Um, that you're not fully invested in this relationship, and it could be because of the past. I feel that for some of you guys, you can often find yourself kind of like, like I don't want to say mirroring, but it's almost like you're kind of comparing the person that you're dealing with right now to a person that was from your past, that that connection was very intense, very passionate, and you feel like there's lack of that in this connection. However, uh, with the Princess of Wands, I do feel that for some of you guys, you're going to be hearing or you're going to be getting some type of communication. This could be through text. This could be through social media. Someone from your past is trying to come back around and they're definitely trying to get your attention, but they're going to be very straightforward. So what I mean by that is they're going to reach out. Um, with the Five of Pentacles, they feel like there is things left undone. They feel like uh, there may be it's almost like Leo was the best thing I ever had or Leo was the person that was for me and I'm not ready just yet to let go of this. So I definitely do feel like they're wanting to revisit um, or be around your energy to try to see if you guys can actually uh, rekindle this partnership or this connection. Again, if this is a person that uh, created a lot of hurt in you, Leo, if this is a per no matter how much you care for this person, I feel that their energy is not elevated. Um, we have the five of cups here, the princess of wands, which is the page of wands. Uh, it's not even a knight type of energy. So it, they haven't elevated. What happened was they could have thought that the grass was greener on the other side. They found out it wasn't. So now they're wanting to come back again. Do you see what I'm saying? If it was a knight or a king, they learned their lesson, but they're not. I feel that it's circumstances. I feel that life may be beating them down or teaching them a lesson or dealing with their own karma. And I feel that it's kind of their way to weasel back into your life because when they were with you, they were flourishing. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so what they're telling you here is, again, listen to your intuition right here with the Four of Cups. If you feel like, if you feel like you outgrown the situation, if you feel like you know exactly what it is that you want, you are confident in yourself and you know your worth, do, do not entertain um, what's not for you, okay? Because this blessing, this connection, this new person is definitely coming in. Um, and you don't want to diminish that connection dealing with people from the past, okay? 
All right, let's see what's the energy that you need to take on moving forward in regards to the situation for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, shoot, we got a lot of cards flying out here. Okay, so we have the princess, yeah, the princess of swords. This is about having or not hesitating about cutting people out from your past. This is the energy you need to take on. So if it's a person from your past and if it's someone that um, you were still hopeful about or missing over here and they do reach out, um, go based off of their actions, not their words, not what they're telling you. Spirit is telling you pay attention um, and walk away or cut the cord when you feel that you are ready to do that. Um, because this is going to clear out any stagnant energy uh, moving forward, okay? Okay, and the energy that they're coming towards you is here the Queen of Wands. So yeah, I feel that they're definitely taking action and the reason they're taking action is because they are aware or they understand um, that you were a value to them in their life. It was almost like the universe is showing them, you know, where you thought uh, that you had it like that or where you thought that it, everything was going to be fine and peachy. Um, you're now dealing with circumstances that you created yourself. You put yourself in that situation and they're wanting to take action towards you. Why? Because they see you as the beautiful Leo that you are. You are not only beautiful inside and out, but you are loyal. You could see the cat right there. You are confident. You are blessed. And that's what they're wanting to be able to attain or to want to integrate into their life. With the five of cups, the five of pentacles, they're wanting to take action based off of circumstance, not because of feelings, not because I realize that I love you, Leo, and I realize that you're worth fighting for. No, it's that they realize that life is not better without you. Pay attention to that, Leo's. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.